When announcing an upcoming movie or sequel, Disney has never shied away from laying out long wait times for their larger franchises such as Frozen or Toy Story. That's why it was so surprising when they not only announced that they were working on Moana 2 already, but also that the movie will be releasing later this year. While it was totally expected for such a popular film to eventually get a sequel, the fact that it seems like Disney's almost finished working on it is a delightful treat. But what exactly do we know about Moana 2? Believe it or not, there's actually not a lot of information about Moana Moana 2 out there yet, but fans have learned about some key factors that have us all really interested in what's to come for our titular character and her demigod companion. That's right, in case there was any speculation, Maui is definitely going to be returning for this adventure. But let's begin with the cast of the movie. As of right now, there haven't been that many official announcements for returning or new cast members, but we do know of one major return. Ali'i Cravalho, the original actress who played the part of Moana, used her Instagram to announce her return to Mata Nui. In the posted picture, you can see her excitedly standing outside of a Disney production building with the caption, We're sailing way beyond the reef this November with the hashtag Moana 2. I'll dive into what that could mean for the story of Moana 2 in a minute. Now, it was never really in question whether or not Alayu would be returning to her iconic role, but the last that anyone had heard before her post on Instagram was that she was still in negotiations with Disney. So to have her officially confirm her return was great news for fans. The same can't be said for Dwayne The Rock Johnson, though. To me, there's still no doubt in my mind that The Rock will be reprising his role as Maui in Moana Moana 2, especially since the character is confirmed to be in the movie. But until it's officially announced, you can't be certain. That being said, it should be noted that Dwayne Johnson has announced that he will be working on the live-action reimagining of the first movie, which undoubtedly means he would most likely be happy to return for Moana 2. As far as the cast goes for the sequel, though, Cravalho is the only officially announced cast member. But with the movie expected to premiere on November 27th of this year, there are sure to be more announcements from Disney in the very near future. Despite there not being much news about Moana 2 yet, Disney has been surprisingly open about the base plotline for the story. While the full details aren't expected to be revealed for a while, we do know that Moana 2 is going to see our main character return alongside Maui as the pair set their sights on dangerous, lost waters. It's also been hinted that Moana and Maui are going to be joined by a crew of unlikely sailors. That's the only description that Disney has given for Moana and her supporting protagonists, which still leaves a lot up to the imagination. The only thing fans can truly be certain about at this point, based on Carvalho's Instagram post and the movie's description is that Moana 2 is going to feature a truly epic adventure. But when will fans get an official look at this highly anticipated sequel? Well, you can check out the teaser for Moana 2 right now, which is how Disney revealed the big November release date. Now, it's important that you don't get fooled by the massive wave of fan-made trailers that have flooded the internet since the sequel was announced. Trust me, some of them look really good and have some editors that should definitely work for Disney. That doesn't make them canon, and odds are that they're going to have nothing to do with the movie. If you want the actual teaser for Moana 2, your best bet is to go to the official Walt Disney YouTube channel and watch it there. The teaser itself is only 16 seconds long and serves purely as an announcement, but that doesn't mean there wasn't a good amount of info for fans to gather from it regarding Moana 2. The teaser opens up on a beautiful island sunset with a dimly lit silhouette of a familiar boat pressed up against a small island. As the camera pans in, fans get their first look at the titular character. The waves softly crash onto the shore as Moana pulls a conch from her belt and blows into it like a horn, as if she's calling out for someone. A call that's answered by Maui's signature yell as the title Moana 2 flows across the screen. The teaser ends by letting fans know that the movie is going to be released in theaters in November of this year. Like I said, it was a very bare-bones teaser and acted as a simple announcement rather than a plot explanation. But that doesn't mean there aren't a couple of hints in there. First off, it might be hard to tell, but based on the silhouette of Moana that was shown as she blew the conch shell, you can see that her hair is a little different from her character model in the first movie. This implies that there will definitely be some sort of time jump before the first and second movies. Whether that's only a year or maybe even half a decade, there's no way of knowing until the movie releases. But odds are, fans will be introduced to an older, more experienced, still adventurous version of Moana. We also know from what Disney has said about the plot and the signature call from the end of the teaser that Maui will definitely be appearing in the movie. Based on the sound of his voice, you can almost be certain that The Rock will be reprising his role as the demigod, which is going to be amazing. It seems pretty clear that in the trailer, Moana was using the shell to call out for Maui and maybe summon him from whatever life he had made for himself following the events of the first movie. Based on what we know about the plot and the fact that Moana and Maui are going to be adventuring into dangerous lost waters, Disney could be showing fans the moment that Moana reaches out to ask Maui for his help. Perhaps she discovered another threat to the ocean and all of the life around it, and the only way to stop it is to go on another godly adventure across the seas. This shouldn't be too hard for her this time, though, considering her people have returned to wayfaring. But clearly it's going to be a threat that requires the help of a god, or demigod, that is. But be 
beyond that, is there anything that we can fully expect to see in Moana 2? Honestly, the simple answer is no, because those are the only details that Disney's released to date on Moana 2. But that hasn't stopped fans from coming up with some pretty amazing theories. In fact, one fan theory that's been around for years seems to have a pretty close connection to what's known about the plot, particularly the Lost Waters. The theory's been popularly named Moana 2 The Lost Island, and it describes a really interesting story. According to the theory, the sequel is going to start with an older Moana sharing stories of her past with her village. That quickly changes when Moana is summoned by the ocean spirit who will lead her on another perilous journey. For some reason, all of the palm trees across the islands have been disappearing, and it would be up to Moana to figure out what's wrong. During her journey, she will seek out help from Maui, who warns Moana of the unexplored lost island that she's being called to. This is when the story will take an emotional turn for Moana, according to this theory, as she learns that her mother Sina has come down with an illness that threatens her life. The only solution that Moana and Maui can think of is to create a potion that requires very specific, diverse, and and rare ingredients. One of these ingredients is believed to be coconut milk, which will intertwine this personal storyline with the main plotline of the movie, at least according to this theory. The next ingredient that Moana will have to find is something called the Tears of Love, and lastly, they will need to get a golden ring. This sets Moana out on a journey that will consist of new and returning characters, along with a series of trials that the titular character will have to navigate and overcome. The theory even suggests that Moana will have another run-in with the Kakamora Pirates and even Tamatoa, by the time her journey is over. Now that would make me really happy considering Shiny was my favorite song from the first movie. If Tamatoa returned with another banger like that, I'd be more than content. The interesting thing about this theory though is that the storyline would have a similar environmental message to the first film. If the Lost Island theory is accurate, then the movie would serve as a strong message about palm trees and environmental stewardship in general. Deforestation is a major concern all around the world and it's often an issue that's not brought up enough. So to center the story of such a massive movie like Moana 2 around a Lorax-like message about saving the trees seems like the perfect way to deliver such a warning to the upcoming young generation. Now, it's important to note that this is just a theory, and even though it's very popular and does seem like a possible storyline that Disney would follow with a movie like Moana 2, there's no guarantee that there will be any connection between the sequel and the theory itself. That's another theory floating around that takes a different route, suggesting that Moana will be old enough to have started a family of her own by the time the sequel will take place. While it may not sound as compelling as the first theory, it's really just as possible a plotline. According to this theory, Moana and Maui will have had a child together and at some point will learn they need to go out on another adventure in order to save not only the islands but also their family. While that might seem like a massive leap, as we've learned over the years, you never know exactly what you're going to see in a Disney sequel until it releases. This brings me to my last question. What do you guys expect to see in Moana 2? Be sure to let me know all your thoughts and theories in the comments below.